How to retire off Ethereum by 2022 We've seen some crazy bull runs in recent times. Most notably, Ethereum saw some insane surges in price across 2020. This huge upswing in one of the largest and most innovative blockchain ecosystems was easily the most exciting news to come out of the decentralized landscape over that period. Alongside the release of smart contracts and the huge push towards proof-of-stake consensus mechanics, more and more investors have begun to realize that there exist many exciting methods in which crypto financiers can see extremely healthy and sustainable long-term portfolio growth. Great of you to join us once again at No Cap Crypto. Today, we're going to be taking a look at some of the more reliable and less volatile trading and earning strategies available to the Ethereum network. Diving in depth into how exactly you can structure your Ethereum holdings and actively look to retire off Ethereum within a single year. Pay close attention and make sure you watch till the end of this video. We'll be getting very technical at parts and you do not want to miss out. Although crypto is still very much a volatile investment opportunity, especially in comparison to the legacy financial marketplace, the advent of concepts such as staking has led to investors realizing that they could very easily see healthy and sustained profits off some intelligent financial decision making. So how exactly do you begin to structure your very own Ethereum retirement plan? Well, the goal behind any kind of retirement plan is to be able to achieve a certain level of passive income, a means of earning wealth that surpasses your average expenditure. Through crypto, you need to achieve this through making wise and intelligent investment decisions. So the normal traditional financial system retirement plans involve holding safe earners in the stock market, buying bonds, holding real estate, and acquiring rent. People are mainly using crypto right now as an investment opportunity. Unfortunately, that incurs extremely heavy capital gains tax. Pulling out these increased funds will result in unnecessary taxes that dig into your overall profits and could be otherwise used towards reinvestment opportunities. So what's the alternative to pulling out of the crypto marketplace? How can we earn these levels of passive income within the decentralized financial landscape itself? The key idea that surrounds the concept of passive income is the idea of long-term returns. These aren't 10x, 20x moonshots. This is a means of generating a sustainable amount of money whilst avoiding any kind of taxable event and unnecessarily losing money when entering and exiting the crypto marketplace. Ethereum 2.0 Staking – How It Works Staking is currently the most attractive means of achieving these kinds of passive income rewards. The sheer returns on investment of staking right now are staggering. We're seeing a theoretical annual percentage return minimum greater than 4%, with over 10 million Ethereum staked in preparation for Ethereum 2.0. That return alone is greater than most legacy financial institutions. Sure, many seasoned crypto veterans out there must be thinking that these numbers are minuscule in comparison to potential DeFi returns. And that is true, you can definitely find higher and more attractive APR values. However, those DeFi strategies do actually come with a lot of risks. From hacking to exploits, insurance scams through smart contracts, these higher APR returns definitely have a greater deal of risk attached to them and are nowhere near as sustainable. Staking your ETH against the blockchain and generating more ETH is a fantastic opportunity to passively gain income. There's nothing particularly complex about it. Just watch the overall APR returns and withdraw the assets when the staking is not really worth it anymore. Compare this to many other crypto strategies and how they attempt to time the marketplace, buying during the dip and selling during the peak, requiring a lot more attention and a lot more risk with a heavy focus on timing. Now the sort of returns that this safe, long-term staking return opportunity is able to offer investors is certainly very attractive for a number of reasons. Even in comparison to traditional financial opportunities, the sort of returns that you can see in crypto is just not as easily possible within the legacy financial marketplace. In fact, there has been a huge push for traditional retail investors looking to get actively involved within crypto due to this very reason. Combine this with the fact that comparable returns in crypto and outside, within crypto, these returns will not be considered taxable events. Share price fluctuations in normal financial markets will see holders paying capital gains tax, but crypto investors will only face these high tax rates upon leaving the marketplace. 
As a fan of crypto and decentralized finances, that bullish mentality towards cryptocurrency should maintain that Ethereum and other major currencies are set to see overall growth. Regardless of short-term market volatility, this is an important consideration with these long-term strategies as this sort of ETH 2.0 staking will result in a long-term locking of assets. Ethereum Staking ETH 2.0 staking is not liquid. Sending Ethereum to ETH 2 will lock the assets until Ethereum 2 is fully rolled out on the mainnet and you can finally withdraw funds from your validator node. Bear in mind that these funds will not be accessible for a while and is perhaps the most attractive feature of staking assets. Let's take a closer look at how exactly you can go about staking your Ether. But before we really get into the various options available, we need to ask. Hey. Are you liking the video so far? If so, I have good news. Make sure you like and subscribe to No Cap Crypto because we release videos like this every week. Also, comment below and let us know what you think about staking on the Ethereum network. Make sure to stay to the end of this video as we start to get into how exactly you can stake your assets and what other options you can consider with staking Ether. How to Stake ETH now the simplest and most straightforward means of staking ETH would be running your own validator node. Unfortunately, this is the most complex and most expensive method, requiring a minimum of around 32 ETH alongside sustained running costs. There currently exist a number of guides to running and setting up your own validator node, be it through the cloud or your own home computer. However, those unable to accumulate 32 ETH could opt towards pooling funds. This could be between friends, family, and perhaps trustworthy online communities. Pooling funds to accumulate that 32 ETH and ultimately set up your very own validator node. This process can also be executed through a safe smart contract system. The most common method of staking ETH can be achieved through the creation of a staking pool. There currently exists a number of staking businesses that are largely operated through a trustless method. There are a fair number of opportunities that allow other investors to send ETH that would transfer to a new node on the Ethereum 2.0 beacon chain. Getting to know third-party validators. However, there are other solutions to avoiding the direct staking option. These alternative opportunities will most likely offer more attractive returns and more liquid assets but at the cost of greater risk. These can be found throughout DeFi as well as through custodial crypto banks that would hold your funds and look to pay interest on it. Either way, it's clear to see that the worst move any crypto investor can make is the constant adding and removal of funds from the cryptoverse. The sort of heavy capital gains taxes that most investors will be expected to pay is just not worth it. It's clearly a wiser financial decision to leave excess funds within crypto and attempt to earn even higher returns on those. Be it Ethereum staking, DeFi, custodial crypto bank returns, or just buying the dip, the world of crypto offers multiple ways to see returns considerably higher than anything that legacy financial institutions can even dream of offering. Let us know what you think about today's guide on earning passive rewards and our one-year Ethereum-backed retirement plan in the comments below. Keep in mind, I'm not a financial advisor and that this video exists purely for educational purposes. Please do your own research and make your own intelligent financial decisions. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on our next video, and I'll see you in the next one.